Five here from the comic strip three. How you doing? Doing pretty good today. Today I have my comic book pickups, I believe week five. And I moved, I moved upstairs where it's nice and cool and stuff. Just so that you know, in case you're like, whoa, it's an awesome background. But yeah, it's just wood. Okay, um, let's just get right into this. This is the summer of Spider-Man. Uh, it has three issues, three issues, yeah, three, a couple of, three issues, a couple of pages of three issues, um, three, pa couple pages of, uh, Spider-Man, couple pages of Avengers Spider-Man number nine, couple pages of Spider-Man 688, and it's, I got this one in nice condition, it's free, so, you know, why not, why not just get it. Chamber of Chills, number 18. It's pretty old. I got it for 15 cents. Really good deal because, um, oh, I wouldn't say this was worth a dollar. You know, maybe. I don't know. If you give it to the right person. If I would sell this on eBay, I would probably sell it for like 250 by now. Um, here's condition wise. There's a little fold, it's like a fold crease, I guess you could say it's just folded back. And then, over there. Nice little cover, it's like a mystery book. It was okay, it wasn't great. Ultimate Spider-Man, this is like season two, Ultimate Spider-Man season two, issue six. I got this for 15, 50 cents also. I thought, you know, if it's, if it's only 15 cents, I mean, 50 cents, and I do like the Ultimate Universe, not as much as I like the regular universe, but I do like it, so why not get it? And this is some spine where it's really, it, all the pages are there. Okay, storyline, it's six. This is seven of it, it's the next one, I also got this for 15, 15. 50 cents. So altogether, I uh, paid for issue 6 and 7, I only paid a dollar. This isn't a dollar condition, actually. Five dollar. It's really, it's really in this condition. I don't know why I put it as a 50 cents. There's really nothing wrong with it. Good story, too. It's okay story, actually. It wasn't good. Um, Maze Spider-Man. 6, 12. Oh, yeah. Condition wise, it has Electro in it. Condition wise, only thing wrong with it is creases. You can see, little tiny ones. Not a big deal though. Good story. I think I picked this up for around four fifty. Four fifty. Yeah. Stanley's Mightiest. This is a new comic. This is like came out that came out yesterday. Uh, fantastic first issue. Oh, today's Thursday, so I won't go. Uh, this is from Stanley's Comics. He's back. I just had to get it because it's Stanley. I mean, Stanley's running was amazing. It always is. It wasn't great. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, this definitely was Stanley. Um, it was okay condition. It was good. If this turns out to be anything like the Fantastic Four or anything, like Spider Man, Hulk. <laughs> so yeah guys let's see if in the next month if anything will happen with that I don't think so because the high print runs these days really nothing's going to happen with this book at least because there were so many of them in my store Invincible Iron Man number 158 nice condition I, I picked this up for like $5 four or five dollars. The only thing wrong with it is like a little tiny spine pop. No no real creases. Nothing too major at all. And you can only feel it a spine pop if you touch it. Great story. Great art. Good story. 
And Mace Burn Man 2 of 2. This is for the new movie. I have one of two. Got this one in nice condition. Art is great. If you didn't see my other pickups, you could see because number one was my pickup of the week. This was cool because it's a one of two series and this is two of two. Um, and it, it left off with this big explosion on the bridge and Spider-Man swinging in saying, here we go, and it said, to be continued in the Amazing Spider-Man movie. Really cool how they did that. Uh, Scarlet Spider number six. A good one. I'm pretty sure Craven comes in the next one. I got this in a nice condition. Breaking off now. Um, good story. Not as great as, you know, five. One through five were just the best. Six. Six was good, too. Oh, this is six. Six was good. It wasn't the best. I had the whole run of Call of Spider. Spider Men, if you haven't got this, pick this up. Same thing goes with um with this. If you haven't got this, pick this up. My comic shop started with three rows of these. He only had one left. I picked one up and I'm sad I didn't pick up two. Because this is gonna in the next month it's gonna be worth ten dollars on eBay. I bet you. Ten to fifteen dollars. I swear, it was already sold out. Go pick it up. If you even don't like Spider-Man, just go pick it up. For if you know, you could have an investment. Go pick three of them up, just for an investment, so you could get books you like. Okay, you should go pick it up. And the big one, the one I advise you to pick up the whole storyline of. Don't know if it's gonna be worth anything, but the Amazing Spider-Man six. Seven, the last part of Ends of Earth. Ends of Earth. Oh my gosh, it was such a great storyline. I have, I think, six seventy nine to now, and so it has, it has like before two issues before when it's just you know the guy in the spaceship and whatnot to now, and I was just reading it every two weeks because that's what usually comes out. Um, great story. Spider-Man, I said, could I, I think, at least on this cover, should could have been drawn better. In my opinion. But my comic book pickup of the week is... Hmm. I like the art in this. I like how they drew Spider-Man in this. If they drew Spider-Man like this and that, best thing ever. So, let's just show you what's in my huh? pickup of the week now is definitely going to be spoiler alert in this whole thing haven't read it stop this video now because I'm going to say something that you'll probably never guess Skull Spider not Skull Spider um well I forgot what her name is but I remember uh, this is part six, Everyone Dies. It's great. Great art with everything else. And the Jewish stereo is cool, great. Look at that. Hardcore. Great stuff, really cool. I think her name, yeah, Sable, right? So, Sable? What her name is, I don't know. It's her. She, um, is, uh, gets drowned by, um, Rhino. Legit dies. I think this is right here, in these things, is where the Black Spider-Man dies, thank God. Big battle scene. And at the beginning of this, the first one, he want someone wanted to kill somebody, and Spider-Man said, "No one dies." And then, at the end of this, right here, the guy says, "You did it. You saved us all." No, and Peter goes, "No, I failed. I don't understand." And it says, "Someone died," and then just the end. 
So, ending, I was like, oh my god. Can't wait for this. Can't wait for this. Go pick this up. This is just for the movies, of course, because guess what? Next month is it's the movie. Pretty sure, or in two months. They're just doing it for the box office like they did with the uh, box suit. Free digital copy there, yay! Always keep those because those could be, you know, with the whatever. Yeah, bye bye, guys. Um.